RCA Vector and its dealers present Bert Tilstrom, creator of Kukla, Ollie, and all the Kuklapolitan players with Fran Allison in Kukla, Fran, and Ollie. Good evening, television friends and lovers of the drama. I have several announcements to make before we get into the business of the evening. Uh, first of all, I want to thank all the wonderful people who have been writing in such beautiful uh, letters recently, and we're going to try to answer them all. We'll do our very best, but this is kind of a rush season, as you probably know, and it's a little difficult to be prompt. <laughs> However, we will get to it, and I want to thank you. They're perfectly beautiful letters. <coughs> then, uh, I also want to add <coughs> little notes from time to time. Colonel Cracky usually makes these announcements, but uh, he uh, isn't here today. He uh, decided to take a day off. A little pushing. I uh, want to say to you all that uh, uh, some of you have been sending in uh, asking for subscriptions to the Kuklapolitan Courier, for which we are very grateful and very happy because we'd like you to have the new holiday uh, issue of the Kuklapolitan Courier. It's a very fine one, and I know you will like it. And, uh, uh, oh, by the way, can't find the sign. One moment. This is, this is, this is the sign. You say, all I would do is send your, your name, your address, uh, your, you sit, you send your name and your address printed very carefully. Google Fran and Ollie, block 3446, Chicago, 77, Got it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Send that in. But the thing is, some of you have been sending stamps, and it's not necessary at all. We, we appreciate your thought very much, but we don't need it because uh, this happens that uh, there's enough left over in the cash register to send the little thing out to you just perfectly free and without our obligation. <coughs> <laughs> so, uh, number... Uh, oh, there are also with some... I noticed in the letters I read last night that there were a couple of statements saying, are you going to leave us this winter? Well, I just want to tell you, no. Decidedly, no. There was a little talk, Coop and I were talking about taking a winter vacation this year. We thought it might be kind of fun. And then we just got to thinking about it, and we thought, well, that would be kind of uh, bad, because after all, we have so many friends. And Mother wouldn't know what to do with us up in Dragon Retreat in Vermont during the winter, because she has such a big ski crowd. <laughs> so we decided we would not take a winter vacation. We will be here all winter and take our vacation in the summer as usual. Now, <coughs> that the business of the day is over. I have a great announcement today. Today is going to bring another milestone in Kukupolitan Western Productions. As you know, we have done many fine westerns here at the Kukupolitan Opera House. Horse opera. <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. And uh, so uh, the thing is that uh, the trouble is that uh, we have done all these plays and uh, we have never, uh, I have never been able to play the hero. But I have fixed that today and we're going to do something special. I want to call in my cohorts now. Uh, Fran Allison, lovely lady of stage and screen and television. Miss Fran Allison. <laughs> Fran! What? Come on, what are you doing over there? I was busy. <laughs> I announced you. Well, Cook. I don't have anything to do. What did you announce me for? Uh, we're, I've got an announcement. Oh, well, I didn't know. I didn't know I didn't Kukla! What? Hello, come? Kukla. Hi, Fran, how are you? <laughs> Fine. It's a pretty dress on today. Thank you very much. It's your Washington dress. Yes. Yeah. Never mind about that. It's a very special announcement. I um, have the honor and privilege today of announcing that we are all going to... Um, uh, see a great western drama. We all who? Well, you'll see it if you look twice because you're, we're all going to be in it. Oh no, not oh, yes. today! No, 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 I'm, I'm sorry. You come back here. <laughs> Why, Fred? I wasn't thinking of leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't hurt. Doesn't it? Okay. What'd you say? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then I may leave. Just you said I might. I didn't say I would. You won't really leave. Now, 
You just received a new sunbonnet the other day, which I noticed, and it's very lovely. So it'll be apropos for this play. Now, I have wanted to do a real, authentic, true Western story based on a true-to-life drama uh, of a true-to-life happening. And so we are going to do it today, and I have brought someone here who is going to do, tell us a story, a wonderful story. I've asked him to do a story in which I can play the hero because I'm sick and tired of playing the villain. And I'm sorry. Well, Ollie, I, if I had been going to be in a Western drama, I would have dressed Western. I dressed about as Eastern today as I could get. Well, it's kind of flat. That's cute. Well, I know, but then I like to... Well, this is about an Eastern girl. We'll tell him to make it about an Eastern girl. Okay. And you know who I've invited to come in to see us? Well, you just guess. I can't get Well, it. I don't know, because I... Trigger! Don't... No. <laughs> um, hop along. No. Somebody better than hop along. Well, not better, but this is good. <laughs> Let me see. No. Cactus Jim. You don't mean I it. do mean it. <laughs> really? Really? Yes. A, a fellow who does all those wonderful Western movies every day on NBC. <gasps> okay. Oh, I can't bear it. Can yeah. you? No, I can't. I can hardly stand I guess it. I'll go. I think I'll sit down. Come back here. <laughs> you want to be impolite, I want you to meet him. Cactus well, Jim, I... won't you please come in? <laughs> well, howdy, buckaroos. He wasn't fooling. Hi, hey, Cactus, come on in a little closer to Fred. How do you do? How Gee, do you do, it's nice Freddy. to know you. It's so nice to have you here. Well, thank you, ma'am. Would you care for opinion nut? Well, thank you. Yes, I always Could have I have one, one too? Yeah, sure. Thanks very much. You care for one, Ollie? Yeah. Oh, yes, indeed I would. Thank oh. you. <coughs> you never could have chewed it anyway. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, Cactus, I'm certainly glad to see you. Well, and you have promised to come and tell us... i to get to bed over here and have that file down. <laughs> Sorry. It's all right. <coughs> um, look, Cactus Jim, and my old pal. Kukla, come here. I want you to hear this. I want you to tell us a story, a true story that we're going to enact today. You said you'd bring over a wonderful play in which I could be the hero. That's right. Well, have you got the story? I sure have. Good. Well, well. you can get along without me, I'll leave. No, you stay here. We all got to. You too, Kook. Got to hear this. Okay. Got a wonderful story. It's a true story, too. Really? Oh, yes. I know the people that it happened to. Oh, really? Oh, yes. When did it happen? Oh, it was many years ago. Oh. Before they brought the railroad through here. Oh. <laughs> they just had stagecoaches in them days. Mm -hmm. Stagecoach drivers. Anybody wanted to go any place, they couldn't get out <laughs> like they do today and get in their buckboards and run over to the neighbors. They had to take the stagecoach. Naturally. Sure. And it's a good story, and as I say, it's true. That's the part I like. It's about a young lady, awful nice young lady, name of Frances. Ain't that funny? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Small world, isn't it? <laughs> well, sir, she was an Eastern gal. Isn't she, that a coincidence? I don't know where she come from. Well, oh, my folks came somewhere. from the West. Mm -hmm. Well, she come from the East, uh -huh. Ohio, one mm -hmm. of them states. Mm -hmm. And uh, <clears throat> her uncle passed on, and uh, he wrote her a letter before he did. And he says... Uh, I uh, haven't got any will. I, I can't leave you no money. But here's something that's worth... That was my uncle, all right. <laughs> Here was something that was worth a lot more than money. It was a map of some lost treasure out in the West. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's a great... That's going to be exciting. Oh, boy. Well, sir, uh, she took the map. She looked at it, and uh, uh, she figured out how to get out there. And uh, she uh, got reservations on the stagecoach and uh, took the stagecoach out. And uh, it's a story of uh, how she would, was befriended by somebody when she just needed the most. Oh, isn't that? That's the kind of like real sentimental. Mm -hmm. Well, sir, uh, <coughs> should I go on? Oh, please yes, do. Yes, yes, go on. It's an interesting story. I like mm -hmm. to tell it. Mm -hmm. Well, did she find the treasure? Oh, yes, she found the treasure, but she come nigh losing it. Oh, oh. that's where the suspense comes in. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir, I should say she did come nigh losing it. That's the denouement. What? <coughs> well, it's French. Mm-hmm. Well, this is what's happened right here in this oh, country. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, <coughs> there's a fella on that stagecoach that uh, was a no-good hombre. Mm -hmm. He made his living by... Uh, 
Uh, t just riding stagecoaches, and uh, whenever they'd come to a mud puddle or something, why, he'd pretend like he'd fall off, you know, collect insurance, one of them fellows. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he'd seen Frances on a stagecoach, and uh, kept watching her all the time, you know. Well, <clears throat> she got off in this little town, and he followed her, followed her to the hotel. She took a room there at the hotel, and uh, because the map, Give her the name of the town, you know. And Nats. Uh, huh? Nats, I said. That's short for naturally. Yes. <laughs> well, um, um, so uh, one day he met her on the street, and he says, uh, "Haven't I seen you somewhere before?" And she says, "I don't think so." And uh, but he got to talking with her anyway, and uh, she told him about this map. No. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Foolish girl. Of course. Yes, she was. So huh? he stole it, huh? No, he didn't. Oh, he didn't steal it. it. Oh, well, that's well the story. Did and he get any part of it? Yes, he got a part of it. Oh, oh, uh -huh. oh that's good. Grabbed it out of her hand. Oh. No. She held part and he held part. No. But she finally got it back. How did she get it back? Well, it's like I say, this, uh, this, uh... uh friend in need. Friend in need. Uh, that's friend, the hero, yeah. huh? Now, who was that? Who was that? Uh... Who was that? Was yeah. It? Oh. It was uh, a horse. Oh. She was befriended by a horse. Well, what do you know? <laughs> That's the hero? Sure. Man's best friend here turns out to be Francis's best friend. Hello, Ollie. <laughs> but there's a part for but, you. But, Cactus, you told me it would be a real hero's part. I, why can't you get a... Part well, I wear a big uh, hat and I go riding across the range. What? Well, he was a hero. Was I, the finest horse that ever lived. I know, but maybe we ought to do another show today. No, no I like no, that. No, we no, came no, over no, here no, now. He brought this story. show. We'll do this Real show. Real fine. I think it's. But look, kids, Great I mean, part why don't you. you play the horse? No, I don't want to play it. I don't, I don't want to be the hero again, Franny. Don't look at me. I've been everything else. That I will not be. <laughs> not the hero. Old paint bucket. I wouldn't bucket. take it away from you for the world. Old paint was his name? <laughs> Old paint bucket. Old paint bucket. <laughs> well, kid, here's your big chance. I'll yes. go get in my costume. Me too. Thank you. That's a beautiful story, Cactus. Isn't that a wonderful story? Yeah. Come out well in the end, too. Well, Cactus, you double-crossed me, but we'll go, we'll go through with the play. Would you like to... Set the scene while I get things ready backstage? Yes, I'll do that, Ollie. I'll get you a little music. Jackson. The piano player, huh? Benedict Arnold. It's <laughs> a true story. That's the only one I know. Of course, I could have made up one, but I thought you'd appreciate a true one. I said I thought I'd appreciate a true one. Yes, yes, go on. <laughs> well, sir... <clears throat> The play's almost as good as the fella down at the downtown. Of course, he only plays on Saturday night. Come on, Cactus, hmm? get into the story. Oh. Well, sir, <clears throat> time this story opened up, there's a pretty gal from the east. Got on a stagecoach to go west to find the lost treasure. Now, that was a brave thing for a gal to do, to get on a stagecoach and go plumb across the country in search of a treasure. About ready? Not quite. So go on. Go on, Cactus. <laughs> I can't find any costume. You really like that part, Ollie. It was a pretty horse, too. Well, we're just about ready. Cecil Bill, you better get up the stagecoach, and Franny can get in the stagecoach. Thanks. I'm practically in it. Okay. Thanks, Cactus Jim. We'll take That's over there. Right. So long, You're partner. You're responsible from here on out. Yeah. And I better get on early and get a good seat. Ready to leave? Are we fixing to go? Oh, curtains. Won't work. Hmm? Oh, nothing to put? Which way are we going? Well, I can move over. 
I'll move over here. All right. Okay. Okay. Glad to do it. Well, are we starting to go? No horse? Well, move it a little farther over. Then look like he's behind the curtain. It's a small horse. We're only go. Only go. Is this your horse? I was hoping to get out west before I was old and grayer. <laughs> hmm? Ready? I can't talk. I'm a horse. Well, you don't have to say anything. We are. <coughs> How long do you think it'll be before we get out west? Not long. Oh. Oh. I'm going out west to seek my fortune. My uncle left it to me. It's a hidden treasure. Aren't we pretty nearly there? I thought I saw a town in the distance. Is this it? Well, thank you very much for a very pleasant ride. I'll see you. Naturally, since I'm a horse, I cannot talk to her, but I can think out loud, and I will. Doggone costume. Monsieur Joseph again. What in the world is this I got on? <clears throat> well, uh, looks to me like that girl uh, might get into trouble. I think it'd be very uh, much better if I stuck around and kind of watched out for her, because she uh, seems to be a tenderfoot. Oh, here she comes down the street now. I'd better go back to the stable. Well, this must be the hotel they told me about. Strange. How do you do? Howdy, ma'am. I'm... I'm wanting to secure some lodging. I intend to be here for some time. Oh, ma'am, you're going to stay here for a while? Yes, I imagine I'll be here for quite some time. May I put my suitcase down? Please do, ma'am. Thank you very much. Um, I don't run this here uh, lodging hall, but... Uh... Maybe I can help you, a stranger in town. Well, sir, you? I am in need of a friend. Oh, well, I will be glad to be your friend. I am alone in this town. Little does she know I am the villain. I have come to find the treasure which has been left to me by my uncle. Oh. He could not leave me any substantial sum of money, but he told me that if I would look earnestly and search well, I would find a treasure which he had buried quite some time ago. Let me see that map. This is the map. I was warned not to show it to Oh, strangers. you can trust me. You seem like an old friend. Oh, well, I am indeed. I, this oh. is the map. Why, it's of the canyon. I can see it now. Yes, there it is. Why, yes, indeed. Now, if I just knew where the canyon was... Well, now, I can see that canyon. There is the large rock. There? Behind that rock is hidden the treasure. Oh. The wonderful treasure that we all... Oh, yes, that's been lost for a long time. Now, you have to walk into the canyon straight ahead. Straight ahead. And then you walk, come right at the rock and look over the other side of the rock. That over is, here. That is where the treasure is, ma'am. Could you show me exactly how to walk? Yes, now, just keep going right straight towards this rock here, you see. Mm -hmm. Now, as you get over the top of the rock, you'll see. There it is, ma'am. You can see it coming into view. The little RCA Victor 45 RPM. I had to work it in somehow. All right. I mean, let's, let's face it. Look, look at that little record changer work. The world's oh. fastest record changer. <gasps> no wonder it's a treasure. No. Yes, indeed, ma'am. All that wonderful little western decor on there. That's a, that's a... Law of the West. D yes, but decor means a little decoration. That's yes, I know, but it, it shows all little figures. It's showing yeah. that particular album. That's yeah. right. Operation is so easy, that little R.C.A. picture. Wonderful. But we're, it's hidden right behind that rock. <gasps> yes, it is. Mm. Let me see that map again, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I oh! Oh, and he said you would be a good friend. You almost didn't hold on to it. Well, you almost didn't grab it right. Well, now, here I... <coughs> Hello, paint bucket. <laughs> How are you? You 
see before you a miserable girl with half a map. Huh. It was stolen from me by someone I thought was a trusted and tried friend. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever shall I do? Hmm? What shall I... <laughs> I thought I heard something. Whatever shall I do? Uh, why don't you go to your room and, and rest for a little while? I think I should rest. I think I should rest. Poor girl. I must help her. I tell you what I will do. I will go, I will go to, uh, I will go out and find that desperado, that amber. And I will, uh... <laughs> I will um, make up to him because he needs a horse, I know, and he will think I am his friend. And then, uh, therefore, he will want me to be his faithful old paint bucket. And uh, I will pretend like I am his great friend. And then, uh, as uh, cowboys often do, he will very likely uh, talk to me because cowboys get lonely, and he will show me the map. <laughs> map! <laughs> am I glad I'm a dragon instead of a horse? <laughs> I, had never, I had no idea they had to wear all this stuff. And... Uh, therefore, I will snatch it from him and bring it back to uh, lovely Francis. Oh, here he comes now. Didn't you know? Here he comes. Cook! <laughs> here he comes now down the walk. West, word hood. Here is a likely looking horse. Hi, old fellow. <laughs> I'm just pretending. I don't like him at all. <laughs> Well, old fellow, you, uh, you don't, uh, you seem to be loose here. Perhaps you would be a very fine horse for me to ride the range on. Uh, I'm going to go to the canyon to find the lost treasure. Oh, the lost treasure. Wait, I will show it to you. You can be trusted. Little does he know. <laughs> I am trying to find the other half, but I think I can get the, the location of the treasure this way. Come, fellow, let us ride. Gallop off to the canyon. I have some things to pick up. I'll meet you. No. You think you'll remember where the treasure is? I'll always have it with me. Inside information. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's all right. Shall we gallop off? Shall we? Would you like to take the reins? Yes, indeed. Quick! Look who's coming! Look who's coming down uh, the place! Uh -huh. The villain! Aha! There you are! So, you stole the map! So, you would have taken my fortune from me! Zounds, I'm discovered! But I will disarm her and uh, uh, tie her up and put her in the abandoned hut! Little as he knows that I'm a feminine member of the FBI in its early stages. Little as uh, anybody know that I am really the town marshal in disguise. No! Oh, I am too! I'm not going to be a horse the rest of the show. I don't like this either. I dearly love Cactus Jim, but this is a horrible story. I don't think it's such a horrible story. I think it's a We're not going story. to. I'm not going to find the treasure. Yes, you are, because I'm going to finish it my way now. Oh, all right. I'm just the uh, your bridle's coming loose. Thank you. It's the wrong side. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> now you are you will run at me, see, to have a great battle, and we will struggle together, and then that's when the great moment comes that I'm. Do you coming. care if I leave? No, I'd like you to stay here. Oh, well, you right. can shriek a little and be okay. kind of horrified. Okay. Oh! I am going to uh, I am going to take Francis and tie her up and put her in, in the abandoned uh the abandoned well. coal mine. Well, no, coal mine, who cares? Coal mine, who cares? I don't No you don't! Oh. 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 She's up, he's down, he's down, he's up. How are you doing? There. No. Oh, you brave, brave horse. I am not a horse. No? No. I am the town marshal. Really? Yes, I was only in disguise. And I'm no relation to my uncle whatsoever, either. <laughs> How did you get the map? I found it from somebody, a kind lady who was on the stagecoach. She gave it to you? She gave it to me. Oh. I wanted some reading material, and she mistakenly gave it to me instead of a Saturday evening post. Oh. <laughs> well, that's nice. Well, 
No, I will let you up on one condition. Don't, please. Look at me. Take off my glasses. Brother! <laughs> no. My brother. I am sorry. I repent. I give up this wicked life. And I, I will never bother you two again. No, brother, do not leave. Well, stay with us forever. Let's all go down to the canyon, because I have just heard it on good um, authority that the copper will be discovered there one day. Really? That's well, the best lead-in I leave can Leave us get. go. And we could go down there, huh? Should we go? When I'm up to my neck, being down in the mouth, there's a place I can play. So to lose my hankering, I pull my anchoring and head that away. Deedle I, deedle o, oh, hear the fiddle and bow, and swing your cares away. Down in Copper Canyon, people are mighty gay. Look at her, look at him, look at Sally and Slim. Why, they're real glad they came. Down in Copper Canyon, I'm sure feeling the same. Gonna dance with a girly, romance with a girly, the one in the prettiest gown. Have a wing ding. Have a time, it's that kind of time. Deedle I, deedle oh, keep a tap on your toe, and give a yip yahoo. Cause in Copper Canyon, there ain't nothing else to do. Gonna dance with the fella, romance with the fella, gonna whirl in the prettiest gun. Have a wing ding. Have a time, it's, it's a that kind of time. time. Deedle I, deedle oh, keep a tap in your toe, and give a yip, yahoo. Cause in Copper Canyon, there ain't nothing else to Have a hold down, let the cider go down. Hoop and holler, never gonna slow down. Gals in gingham, what you gonna bring them? Bring them gingham, if you want to swing em. Down in Copper Canyon, there ain't nothing else to do. Nice trip. <laughs> Grand trip. <laughs> <laughs> you were a sensational hero. Thank you. I hope that uh, Cactus Jim didn't mind too much the way we changed his story. Well, it'll take practice to do the kind of stories that Cactus Jim tells. Yeah, that's true. They have a great deal of background. They're wonderful old stories. They really are. Well, there's only the one thing left for us to say, partner. Oh. You know what that is? No, but... Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, no. Oh, yes. Yeah. Remember, in television... It's RCA! A victor. <laughs> this is Bert Tilstrom speaking. However, if Kukla were speaking, you might say just this. Thank you. Thank you on behalf of all the Kuklapolitan players. RCA Victor, world leader in radio, first in recorded music, first in television. Kukla, Fran, and Ollie came to you from Chicago.